Hello, and welcome to Livre Canada Books Export Market Webinar, Exporting to Georgia. Georgia will be the guest of honor at the 2018 Frankfurt Book Fair, and we are pleased to be learning more about the Georgian book market today. Presentation should take about 60 minutes, and we've set aside time at the end for your questions. And so we'll be taking the questions via the Q&A function in WebEx, found at the right-hand part of your screen. Feel free to submit questions throughout the webinar. We'll collect them for the Q&A session at the end. You will also receive a copy of the presentation following the event and can access a recording on our website in about a week's time. If you encounter any problems or have questions relating to the WebEx platform, please message me as the host via the chat function found at the right-hand part of your screen. So now I'm pleased to introduce our presenter, Gavansa Jobava, the current chairperson of the Georgian Publishers and Booksellers Association and head of the publishing program of the Georgia Guest of Honor Presence at the 2018 Frankfurt Book Fair. Since 2010, she has been the editor and international relations manager at Intellect Publishing, one of the biggest publishing houses in Georgia. She is also a writer and translator. Welcome, Gavatsa, and thanks for joining us. Hello, thanks for presenting me. It's a great pleasure for me to meet the Canadian publishers through webinar and have this opportunity to present the Georgian book market. Uh, so let's start. Um, first of all, I'll um, shortly describe and speak about the country itself because I think that it will be nice if you will have a better feeling about the country and then, of course, we will uh, continue speaking about the Georgian book market. So, Georgia is an independent republic located in the South Caucasus at the crossroads of Western Asia and Eastern Europe. It borders the Black Sea from the west, Russia from the north, Turkey and Armenia from the south, and Azerbaijan from the southeast. The country covers a territory of up to uh, 70,000 square meters, and the capital is Tbilisi. Georgia is a country of 4.6 million people, of whom 84% are ethnic Georgians, it emerged as an independent nation after the collapse of the Soviet Union in the 1990s, yet it has a long and distinct cultural tradition as well as its own alphabet. Uh, so here is the Georgian alphabet, um, perhaps one of the main reasons that Georgian literature, in spite of its long history, has never been widely read beyond its homeland is the unique three script Georgian writing system, which you see on the screen and which was added to UNESCO's representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2016. Georgia is written and spoken by only around three and a half million people in Georgia itself and fewer than one million emigrants. For the rest of the world, the language mm, is almost completely inaccessible accessible from time uh, immemorial Georgians have regarded the language as a vital asset worth preserving at all cost, as uh, was proven in 1978 during the Soviet period when people came out onto the streets in huge numbers to protest the decision by the Soviet government to make Russian the official language of Georgia. They eventually forced the authorities to back down, however, such a unique asset comes at a price, and if Georgian literature is to achieve widespread popularity in the international arena, it is essential to support translation work with meaningful investment and promotion. Uh, so, after serious economic turbulence and the Rose Revolution of 2003, Georgia has showed one of the best economic performances among all former Soviet countries and has enjoyed a particularly strong recent recovery after the economic crisis and the military confrontation with neighbor, neighboring Russia in 2008. Uh, but uh, let's speak about uh, a bit public, uh, independent Georgian publishing history as well. Uh, 
uh, in the 1990s following the collapse of the Soviet Union, foundations were laid for the construction of an independent publishing sector. Uh, I have to mention that until then, only state publishers had existed in the Soviet Union. Uh, it was very typical to this union, and slowly this new industry arose from the ashes of the USSR while simultaneously establishing and developing business relationships with publishers across the world. Over the last 25 years, the publishing and literary worlds of Georgia have come a long way, um, mirroring past many roadblocks on the path of development. Now, the baton, we can say that the baton has been passed to a new generation of caretakers, young people with modern outlooks who are working hard to integrate 15th century of Georgian literature to promote it for um, foreign publishers. Uh, so now let's see the uh, publishing market. Um, according last researches, about 100 publishing houses were registered in Georgia. Among those, 55 are active publishing houses, most of which are small publishing houses, while large and medium publishing houses are represented in a fewer number at Georgian book publishing market. Uh, the most part of the publishing activities in, is concentrated in Tbilisi, which is the capital. I have ma mentioned it already. Uh, and from mentioned 55 publishing houses, the majority is registered in Tbilisi. Only four out of 55 represent regional publishing, among which two are engaged in publishing activities in Batumi, which is this, uh, our very important uh, uh, city at the Lake Seashore, touristic uh, zone of Georgia. Uh, and a uh, few information about the copyright law as well. So, Bern Convention, yes, so we have joined it in 1995. World Copyright Agreement, yes, we have signed it in 2002. And Six Books Pride, mainly we don't have it in Georgia. So, book publishing in 2013, uh, in 2018, uh, National Parliamentary Library of Georgia conducts accounting of books published with ISBN code within country. This database is also filled according to the obligatory copy procedure. The data includes books published by any publishing house, private entrepreneurs, natural persons, or other institutions and companies. Uh, here you can see the numbers. Uh, so uh, in 2013, we had 3,745 uh, published books. In 2017, it was 3,625 uh, titles, books. And now in 2018, uh, of course, it's not a full year yet. We have several months. Uh, before us, so yet it is 2,773 titles. Uh, but uh, you can see also the percentage. In 2013, it was 90%, and then we see the fall. It's 15%, uh, and then goes upwards again. So the reason what, what happened, a very important thing in 2013, in Georgia, it was the demanding textbook policy initiated by our government. The Ministry of Education and Science of Georgia made uh, on that year a surprise decision uh, that textbooks should be provided free of charge to students in Georgia. Rather than pay the publishers for those textbooks, the government reportedly simply used the publisher's electronic files to have the books printed. It then distributed the school books without regard for the publishers or authors' copyrights. Uh, and as it often happens, uh, the result of such policy is that the state monopolies in textbook books publishing always fail to deliver the quality resources that teachers, students, and probably also their parents deserve and expect. The same happened in Georgia, of course, during that five years. It appeared the Georgian government was not ready for such challenge to produce textbooks themselves and offer high quality at the same time. So 
in the school year 2018, this year is the first year after 2013 that the new management of the ministry decided to negotiate with the publishers again. So the new textbooks are already written by the publishers and authors, and government is again since this year buying from Georgian publishers and only after these distributing them to students free of charge. So this was 2013 was very difficult. Uh, yeah, for our publishers, and slowly you see that they slowly has risen the number of titles again. Uh, they have overcome the finance, financial difficulties they had because the market is quite small, and up to 20 publishing houses, uh, houses in Georgia were involved in textbooks uh, business, so of course it influenced greatly the market, but as I also already told you, now we have a bit better situation and we do hope that uh, the textbooks market will develop again this year. Uh, so let's go ahead. Now we have top 10 publishing houses by the number of published titles uh, per year. So I'd like to introduce you these publishing houses. This is Palitrail Publishing, 27%, uh, one of the biggest in Georgia. They are, they are doing uh, all kinds of books like fiction, non-fiction, children's books. Uh, then comes Sulakauri Publishing, 90%. This is uh, one of the biggest, uh, of course, as well, publishing house, very traditional, one of the oldest. Mm, and uh, they are also doing uh, different kinds of books like fiction, non fiction, children's books again. Um, and then the third place is Intellective Publishing I'm representing for the moment um, with 13%, and the same one of the oldest publishing since the uh, uh, Soviet Union collapse already. I have already mentioned in the beginning, uh, so up to 25 years old, and uh, again doing fiction, non-fiction, children's books, and so on. So these are the three biggest ones, and then comes uh, Sakatolos Masne, Books in Batumi Publishing, Arete, Griffon, Artanuji Publishing, Negeri, Ajara, and other publishing houses, which are uh, nearly 70%. Uh, so now the print run. Mm -hmm. According to uh, last research, uh, publishing houses publish books by average circulation of 1,000 copies. There are large publishing houses represented in Georgian market which publish a maximum of 7,500 copies. The minimum circulation for each title is 100 copies. Uh, and here we have, we see the total circulation as well. Mm, this is uh, three million three hundred ninety thousand six hundred sixty-six. Uh, when determining top publishing houses according to the total published circulation, Sulakauri uh, Publishing holds the leading position. It printed books with the largest circulation in 2016, and Sulakauri Publishing is followed by Palitra M. Uh, here we have top publishing houses by revenue from sold books in 2016 year. Uh, you see that Bakur Sulakauri Publishing is still in the leading position. In addition, it should be noted that this list could have included publishing houses such as Kachraza Publishing, uh, Diogene, and Else. You see them in the additional list but they had not given consent to provide complete information or to participate in the last research, so that's why they are not in the main uh, list, but Karchrata Publishing, Diogene, and Elf, they are also very important publishing houses. Um, Karchrata and Elf, they are um, focused uh, mainly on children's books, literature, Diogene, is fiction, and non-fiction, sometimes children's books as well. Um, so, the, we see the total revenue of all Georgian publishing houses from sold books in 2016 was uh, up to 13 million gel, which is uh, 6.7 Canadian dollars, and the number of sold copies per year is nearly uh, 2 million, 2.6 million copies.
Uh, so, revenue from sold books by categories. During last year, the most profitable transactions for Georgian publishing houses are publishing and sale of fiction books. The largest share of revenues gained by publishing houses came from the sale of fiction. Uh, in the case of some publishing houses, there was a significant reduction in the share of school textbooks, which was the result of government governmental program in 2013, which I have already mentioned in the beginning. Uh, the main source of revenue for 45% of publishing houses is publishing fiction. The major share of revenues for the remaining 53% uh, partly comes from academic, professional literature, and partly from supplementary school books, textbooks, and children's literature. Uh, then picture books, uh, uh, religious fan books, other musical notes, math, dictionaries, albums, and so on. Uh, here we have um, publishers' revenues by category. Uh, so, Suakaul Publishing, the publishing house Areta and Intellecti Publishing, hold leading positions in revenues gained from the sale of fiction. Uh, we get entirely different picture when we distribute publishing houses by gained revenues from the sale of non-fiction. Publishing house Signieri holds the leading position. It is followed by publishing house Palitra L, Areta with equal numbers. Uh, and then Suakauri Publishing is the most explicit leader of the market in terms of revenues gained from the sale of children's literature. It should also be noted that Kartrade Publishing would very likely be in this list. So, the share of Georgian and translated literature in 2016. By 2016, Georgian literature titles were published in relatively larger shares in the publishing market from published titles. 55% were Georgian literature, while 45% uh, percent was translated. Literature publishing of translated literature has increased in 2016 compared with the previous three years. Uh, namely, number of translated literature was significantly low in 2013 when it was 31% uh, only, and it was also lower in 2014 that it was 38%. And uh, year by year, the percentage of translated literature is increasing in Georgia, and even for today, probably it's much more higher percentage. Uh, and here we have uh, top 10 publishing houses by number of published translated literature titles. From the numerical point of published translated literature titles, the leading position with equal numbers are held by Sulakauri Publishing, Pytrail, and Intellecti Publishing. You see the percentage, then comes books in Batumi, Arete, Artanuji, and so on. So, here we have translated books by languages. Uh, in 2013-16, publishing houses most frequently published titles translated from English. After English, the highest publishing numbers have titles translated from German, French, and Russian languages. Interestingly, publishing of books translated from English is increasing since 2014. Same can be said about the number of published literature translated for, from German and French language. They also are increasing since 2014 year. And for your information, so in Georgian schools, mainly the foreign languages often taught are is English, of course, on the first place, then comes German, then comes French, as it is on our list as well. Mm, so the you know, Russian language is decreasing already because of our political situation uh, with Russia because for the moment the 20% of the country is mm, occupied by Russia after Soviet Union collapse. So um, it is like a protest of Georgian people regarding this language. 
Um, Apple translations, uh, so you see that we do translations for, from Turkish, ancient Greek, Swedish, Norwegian, Polish, Latvian, Spanish, and other languages. So the translation uh, school is quite very strong and traditional in Georgia. Uh, now we have uh, the percentage distribution of translated books by genre. So the largest share published by the publishing houses is translated titles. Uh, in translated titles is fiction. You see that it is 69%. After fiction comes children's literature. It's 14%. And academic professional literature, which is um, 11%. And then the lowest, lower percentage have school books, supplementary textbooks, picture books, religious stamps, and so on. Uh, so, what you can expect from Georgian publishers if you want to sell the copyright of Canadian uh, writer and your title. Uh, so, the average advance uh, probably will be 400, 500 USD, what the pub Georgian publishers can afford to offer you. The royalty is 7%, ebooks rights 25% of the net, and audio rights. So, yeah, audio books market is quite poor for the moment in Georgia, so you should not have big hope in this field. Uh, and the average print run is. 1,000 copies, mainly the publishers start with 1,000 copies, publishing the, printing the books, and then um, then they are acting how it works, uh, if it is interest, and so on, of course. So, how to reach Georgian publishers and what to offer them? Mm, as usual, not rights agents, only the rights managers of the publishing houses will negotiate with you, so the agent culture is not very popular yet in Georgia, uh, and mainly the publishers, rights manager, publish, right managers of the publishing houses are agents as well. Um, so you can write them on their email addresses and just introduce yourself and uh, send your offer. Uh, don't write too much text to them, just choose several <laughs> titles um, uh, and to offer for the beginning. Also, it's a very good idea to arrange meetings with Georgian publishers at Frankfurt Book Fair or in some other book fairs and meet them personally. It's, it's always helpful, of course. And um, uh, as for Georgian publishers, yeah, they are quite often looking for bestsellers. Um, mainly bestsellers, big names, classics. Classics, yeah. The classics is too very popular in Georgia. Maybe it's a bit strange, but yeah, people here like to read classics. Uh, and um, the topic is that uh, in the Soviet Union, very often the books were translated through Russian language. Of course, we have the translators from other languages as well, but it often happened that it was like Russian politics to translate the book from through Russian. Also, uh, after the collapse, we started to translate the um, translations uh, again uh, from the original. Uh, that's why maybe that's why it happened that a lot of classics was published during the last uh, 20, 25 years, but now, Mm, the young generation is requesting new big bestsellers, modern ones, and so the publishing houses are following them as well, of course. And yeah, it's very um, hard to um, sell the copyright of debut as or authors in Georgia because, um, yeah, as you see, the market is uh, small uh, and it's quite difficult to promote here in Georgia unknown names, so uh, yeah, publishers mainly refuse. Uh, they, they need uh, such kind of uh, interesting biography of the author as well to promote easily in Georgia this name. And yeah, especially for small publishing houses, it will be very helpful if you offer them some grant possibilities as it, as it happens in other countries as well, small and sometimes medium publishing houses as well. They need such, some kind of uh, support in translation. So if you uh, have some possibilities in Canada, 
um, to, to offer them, uh, it will be always helpful. Uh, now, let's go on distribution channel. Um, in 2013-16 years, most of publishing houses communicated with distributors, book distribution companies to sell books. It should be noted that the practice of direct cooperation with the shop without distributors is increasing from year to year. 56% you see, of publishing houses were using distribution channels in 2016, while in 2013 this number was only 41%. Compared with 2013, there are more publishing houses yet that use agents, promoters as a distribution channel, while only 90% of respondents referred to the practice in 2013, and in 2016 the figure is 41%. As for the Internet, in order to sell printed books, 90% of respondents are using this channel, which is three times higher than usage of same channel in 2013. The smallest number of publishing houses state that local book fairs and festivals serve as book sale channels. This number has increased compared with 2013. Working relations with distributors. The majority of Georgian publishing houses cooperate with distributors, book distribution companies, to distribute their published books, but there is some part of publishing houses which do not cooperate with distributors as they contact bookstores directly to sell their published books, sell them through the internet, or fulfill direct orders. As for working relations forms of publishing houses and distributors, uh, the most uh, characteristic for publishing houses is to supply distributors with a fixed purchase price book and offer a discount within this price to distributors. In this case, final selling price of the book established by the publishing house remains unchanged and the book reaches readers with one fixed price, uh, regardless in which trade point they buy the book. When communication with distributors in this manner, publishing houses mostly cooperate with various distributions under same conditions. In rare cases, however, publishing houses offer various discounts to different distributors. When supplying them with a fixed price book, discount is defined by publishing house and depends upon the distributor's order volume. Uh, for example, duration and positive experience of cooperation, individual contacts, friendship, trust, log uh, logistical issues such as transportation conditions, etc., and many other things. Yeah, so as for marketing activities of publishing houses, it should be noted that, the, uh, that for most of the publishing houses, use discount practice is marketing direction. In addition to sales, the product is being advertised on television, radio, uh, the internet. Outdoor advertising of such products is also used, such as uh, billboards, brochures, flyers. However, it should be noted that publishing houses use their web page or Facebook pages to provide information about the marketing uh, activities. And yeah, Facebook is the most popular thing in Georgia and social media. So all the businesses uh, are using it from advertising. And uh, maybe, uh, really, I don't know how it is in Canada, but maybe you will be surprised how actively people here are using um, Facebook and uh, the main thing when you have some organization you should uh, uh, open the page on Facebook first of all to promote everything what you're doing so the books are very often and very actively promoted on Facebook with um, paid advertisements as well and so on so uh, not Twitter so Popular, but Facebook, yeah, very popular one. Um, participation in local book fairs. Uh, so the most popular and wide, widespread um, book fair in Georgia is Pilis International Book Fair, uh, which will count its 21 year already in uh, 2019. 
uh, the this is the biggest and most traditional, most popular um, popular one. The book fair is regularly held every year at the end of May, and the great majority, almost seventy percent, maybe even more of Georgian publishers, booksellers, and bookshops participate in it. But besides, we have other book fairs as well, like Spirity Book Day, New Year Book Festival, World Book and Copyright Day in Georgia, Regional Book Fair, and so on. Uh, as for participation in international book fairs, probably it will be interesting to know where to meet and find the Georgian publishing houses. One third of Georgian publishing houses participated in international book fairs and festivals during during last several years. Frankfurt Book Fair uh, should be noted from the point of the highest participation rate, of course, during last several years. Nearly uh, 12, 16 Georgian publishing houses have been participating in Frankfurt Book Fair as being the guest of honor in 2018. 41 Georgian publishing houses, booksellers, and bookshops will be presented at the National Stand of Georgia at Frankfurt Book Fair this year. In participation rates, Frankfurt Book Fair is followed by the London Book Fair, in which four publishing houses have participated during last year, and uh, two and one of those five participate in those fairs annually. A very small part of publishing houses regularly takes part in Leipzig, Bologna, Sharjah, Beijing, Iran, and Istanbul book fairs. Uh, and yeah, Bologna is, for children's books, publishers, is quite popular in Georgia as well. And we don't have um, the national stand there, but uh, uh, independently the publishing houses are traveling to Bologna uh, to participate. Uh, those ones for whom they children's books which is very important in their publishing books. So, um, also publishing houses of cultural and educational institutions we have. Um, here are several ones, like Ivana uh, Javakishvili at Tbilisi State University. It's the main university, very traditional, most of, more than 100 years. Cornelia Kelly is the National Center of Manuscripts, Georgi Leon is the State Museum of Georgian Literature, Center for Cultural Relations, Caucasian House, National Museum of Georgia. Cultural educational institutions mostly publish nonfiction. Uh, from the total number of published titles, only 13% is fiction. Such institutions publish books by lower circulation compared to the publishing houses. Average number of circulation for each title is 375 copies. Title number in 2016 was 99 copies. So here we have book average price. In 2018, the average selling price of the book in Georgia is 15 uh, gel, which is 7 Point seven Canadian dollar. From 2013 until now, we observe an increase in book selling prices on the book market, and you can see the statistics on the screen. Slowly, but the price is rising. Uh, distribution channels, according to the National Statistics Office of Georgia data, in total there are 83 recorded organizations in Georgia which operate in the field of wholesale trade books. These organizations might be engaged in wholesale trade of fiction as well as non-fiction books and accessories. According to the employed staff and annual turnover, these organizations are divided into small, medium, and large companies. According to the data of uh, the statistic organization, 63% of these uh, organizations are small, while medium and large organizations size are almost equal, and each of them make up from 80% to 90% of the total market. Um, distribution activities, um, distribution companies during last several years carried out sale of books through the following channels like bookstores, wholesalers, internet, call centers, supermarkets, and book fairs. 
from the above mentioned, the highest share of book sales in the last three years was in the bookstores. Uh, Edgerton Book Market distributors cooperate with various publishing houses and distribute their books. Some of them name more than 30 publishing houses. Number of publishing houses which have working relations with distribu distributors during the last three years. Here we have them. Average amount of publishing houses is 19, then comes 8, and maximum amount of publishing houses is 30. Um, shortly about bookstores as well, uh, according to data from the National Statistics Office of Georgia, there were around 50 bookstores registered by 2016. Most of them were small-sized companies, especially the number of small-sized stories is 41, while only BBC is in the category of large companies until now. But since the beginning of 2018, another bookshop called Santa Esperanza opened new shops, and it has seven bookshops in its chain at present, and they are planning to open more shops in the near future. Um, but the biggest company, Bibliothe, has up to 60 bookshops in its chain and covers the whole Georgia, so mainly all the Georgian publishing houses um, negotiate with Bibliothe because it is the easiest way to um, reach uh, not only the um, readers in the capital city, but in all the cities of Georgia and the whole country. So you see that this is very uh, important organization for the Georgian publishers and book industry. Uh, here we have sold books uh, at an average number for one store by year. It's, um, you see that uh, in 2016 it was uh, 100, 1.5 thousand, 100 thousand uh, copies. Um, uh, in 2016, but you can see the numbers in 2015, in 2014. So number of titles was uh, 3,404 in 2016. Uh, distribution of sold books by gender, fiction, 33-35%. Uh, uh, children's literature 30, 33%, textbooks 10, 13%. It can be noted as a trend that according to data of the last five years, the Georgian translations of foreign literature is sold in twice the amount than the Georgian literature or foreign literature in a foreign language. According to story presented, it's two large publishing houses operating in Georgia, Palitra and Bakusula Power Publishing, are considered to be market leaders, and then they are followed by intellective publishing and the uh, Here we have the bestsellers for 2017, and every year in December, I believe it's the New Year Book Festival, Georgian Publishers and Booksellers Association and uh, announces bestseller books. Uh, so the bestseller 2017 in translated literature you see was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by John Rowling. And in children's literature it was Diary of the Wimpy Kids, The Last Straw by Jess Kinney. Uh, and in the bestseller list of previous years from the translated literature, you'll find other books as well, like Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Living to Tell the Tale, Daniel Keith, Flowers for Algernon, it was big bestseller in Georgia and still is, John Green, Paper Towns, Cassandra Clare, City of Bones, Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird, Frederick Brett Beckbeder, and John Paul Sartre. Here we have the most popular and translated Canadian writers in Georgia. You see Margaret Atwood, of course. She is also a huge bestseller in Georgia. Alice Munro, uh, Jan Marto, and Michael Ondaatje. Mainly these are, these are the Canadian writers. Georgians know very well. We then follow them. Uh, 
Uh, and now we can move to ebooks market as well. Uh, we have two biggest and relatively strong standing ebook stores operating at the ebook market. So it's Sabacom G and Lead G. Lead G is an ebook store operating at the market since 2011. Now the website readers can purchase, download more than 2,600 titles of books. Uh, the minimum price for books on the website is 0.2 gel, which is 0.2 point one hundred two Canadian dollar and the maximum price reaches to ninety point thirty gel which is nine point eight Canadian dollar. The website also provides free ebooks. There are different genres and categories of books presented at store including fiction and non-fiction, Georgian translated from and into foreign language literature. So nearly the same is about Sabacom G as well. You see the purchase this year, 2,900 titles, minimum price, maximum price. Uh, maximum price is 20 gels, like 10.2 Canadian uh, dollars. Um, so uh, what is typical to Georgia, it is that the publishing houses mainly, they don't have their um, own, uh, they don't create their own e-books, mainly they negotiate with these two uh, huge, um, not huge, but big market players like Litsi and Sabacomji, um, and uh, mainly like this um, in negotiation with uh, these play players, the e-book ebooks are produced in Georgia and not uh, the publishing houses are doing it, as I have mentioned, and we have several new and yet small websites as well operating on at ebook market. Um, here we have ebook categories as well. In 2016, in total, 6,073 titles of ebooks were presented on the website of ebook stores. Uh, and in 13, 16 years, titles presented on website of ebook stores by categories are Georgian literature, 60%, translated literature, 39%, foreign language literature, 1%, and so on. Uh, and here we have also numbers of ebook titles. Uh, in 2015, it was 2,145. And top sellers among translated ebook in 2016, you, you see here Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades of Grey, um, then comes Franz Kafka, The Metamorphosis, also again Franz Kafka, The Trill, Dostoevsky, Fitzgerald, Bulgakov, uh, Urban Side, and others. Uh, shortly about the literary competitions in Georgia, it, um, it is very important ones: literary Award Saba, literary Ilioni literary contest, Dinandali Prize, literary Award Tero. These are the competitions which help selling books in Georgia. Uh, and now readers in Georgia. Uh, during last uh, research, what was which was held. It was found that almost half the population of Georgia, 49.2%, has read some kind of literature last year. Fiction, 33.6%, non-fiction, 25.6%. And here you see the practice of reading by gender as well. Uh, the study has found that compared to men, <laughs> yeah, it's reality, a large share of women read books. Women. 58% uh, men, 38%, while equal shares of men read read fiction, 22%, and non-fiction, 22% need feature. So, mm, here we have the age scope as well in reading. The practice of reading some type of literature is comparatively high among young respondents. Uh, the, according to the research, as age level grows, the practice of reading books decreases. In addition, the practice of reading nonfiction is much higher among 60 24 year old age group. It's uh, 39%. Yeah, you see.
Uh, so, as the table shows us, 50.8% uh, of readers have visited or are still going to libraries in the past one year. The most frequent reasons for visiting libraries are to take books uh, or to read the book at this spot. The small proportion of readers visit libraries for the purpose of hearing news <laughs> or meeting up with friends. And here we have purchases by um, category. Georgians mostly purchase literature for children, the yes, arts category. High interest is also voted to adventure, historical literature. It should also be noted that the reader mainly purchases prose. As for nonfiction, in this respect, mainly the textbook purchase is linked. Uh, it can be said that the practice of purchasing Georgian literature and translated literature is similar among the book readers. Almost half of the book readers have purchased a particular genre of Georgian literature in the last one year. Also, the half have purchased translated literature. Um, here we have the libraries. Uh, you can see the amount of libraries in Georgia by type, public libraries, public school libraries, state universities, libraries, and so on. And average number of readers, 94,361. Uh, and here, now, Georgian literature, shortly Georgian literature in translation as well. Uh, we have in Georgia the organization Georgian National Book Center, which was established by the Ministry of Culture in 2014. Uh, the center serves in implementing the state policy of promoting Georgian book and literature overseas, in particular the development process of translation of Georgian and foreign literature. Um, and uh, a special program which was developed um, uh, to facilitate translation of Georgian literature into foreign languages. Uh, so you can, if you will be interested in Georgian literature, you can easily apply several times. Uh, the applic uh, the applications are open and you can uh, apply to receive um, grant for translate translation. Now, and here we have some statistics as well from the funded projects in 2011-18 years. Up to 300 titles of Georgian literature has been translated into 32 foreign languages. Up to 200 titles, it was translated in German language. Uh, and now, uh, as I know, after two years, Canada is the guest of honor at Frankfurt Book Fair. Uh, this year, we will have, uh, Georgia will have this presentation, and I think that maybe it will be interesting for you uh, to hear how we have prepared. Uh, I have uh, prepared for you several slides regarding it. So it is our presentation, Georgia made by characters, it's Georgia's motto. Uh, and here is the pavilion. Uh, you see here are two stages, big stage, main stage, and small stage, and uh, different paces, a uh, book exhibition, and so on. So here it is how our pavilion will look like this year. Um, and uh, this is the delegation of Georgian writers coming this year to Frankfurt. 70 Georgian writers are coming, um, and they will have plenty of events there. Uh, in the book fair territory and in the city as well and so on. Um, but here is the Georgian Publishers and Booksellers Association I'm representing, um, which was founded in 1998 and uh, it is member of IPA since 2007 and we have 51 members, publishers, in our association uh, for the moment. Uh, and what is you know, what can be interesting, it is that uh, we have uh, developed publishing program um, in the framework of guest of honor presentation. Uh, so the pavilion is organized by Georgian National Book Center and the Ministry of Culture, but um, there are supports with the publishing program, uh, which means that um, it covers three national stands and a small stage in the Guest of Honor Pavilion. Uh, 
Um, and uh, this program uh, is takes as um, uh, as I told you takes place th uh, in three national stands, um, and it's kid stage also several other areas in Frankfurt books Mesa and so on. And the main purpose of this program, developing this program, is to present the products of literary collaboration, including different parties, authors, publishers, translators, and other literary professionals. The focus of the program will be placed on Georgian publishers, which was our aim. Their projects, plans, business interests, and um, advancement of Georgian publishing industry in general. And it covers up to 70 events of presentations, panel discussions, and so on. Mm, and I will show you the national stand of Georgia as well. You see mm, uh, how it will look like. Uh, if you like to visit us and uh, meet Georgian publishers, they are it's, uh, located in Hall 50B100. Uh, and the status of the national stand annually organized at the Booth since 2007 takes very significant scale in the context of guest upon our project and this main platform for Georgia publishing professionals. So we will have a plenty of business breakfasts, business lunches. Um, you, you see this uh, stage as well, which is called publishing characters. Uh, so we'll have different uh, reasons to host you at our tent. So mm, I'd like to see all of you if you if it is in your interest to join Georgian publishers at the national stand. Uh, and uh, here is Georgian National Stand in Art Plus as well, uh, which reveals Georgia's potential in art and innovative technologies. Um, and we will have several spaces there, book exhibition, innovative projects called Talking Avatars, you see on the image. Uh, and also we will have the typography space and uh, it is joint stand with uh, German organization Monotype. And the third stand is the Georgian Children's Literature Stand. If you are interested in children's literature, so you can uh, visit this stand in Hall 30 F152 and you can see here the books, illustrations, um, of Georgian artists, and there also will be digital games and applications accessible for children visiting stage. So it is uh, very shortly um, the part of the guest of honor presentation called publishing program, which was developed specially by the Publishers Association. So once more, we, you are very much welcome to visit us at any of our stands this year and meet Georgian uh, publishers and start uh, negotiating with them to, for networking and so on and so on. We will be really very happy because uh, until now I think that uh, our relationship negotiation with Canadian publishers was not so active. So I think I, I'll, I'll be happy if um, we will start just now, and uh, if my presentation was something uh, interesting for you, uh, here it is uh, finished now. Thank you for listening. You can see my contact information, email address, web page. So if you have some further questions, you can contact me directly on the email as well. And thank you. Now I'll be waiting if you have some questions. And thanks for listening. Thank you, Franza. Um, we can now open the floor for questions. So if you have a question, please go ahead and type it into the Q&A uh, box at the right-hand part of your screen. And, um, and then we can go through them one by one. Um, as uh, my question to you, as head of the publishing program for the Guest of Honor Presence, do you have, um, over the course of the, you know, in your in your organization, have you come up with tips or suggestions that the, the publishers um, here in Canada should consider as we prepare for our Guest of Honor presence in 2020? 
Have you learned something in um, preparing this presence? Of course, we, we have learned plenty of things. Um, and um, this publishing program is uh, something special for the guest of honor program of the book fair uh, as well because uh, so the book fair doesn't have such tradition that it is obligatory to have the publishing program. It Somehow it happened uh, because uh, but we, we developed it because we were in close negotiation with organizers, with ministry and um, this book center uh, but we were very eager to do something very um, special uh, for for Georgian publishers, because it looks like that this uh, guest of honor um, uh, presentation is mainly for writers. Uh, they are on stages, they are the main characters, and so on. But we were very interested to, um, to show our publishers as well, uh, to because the, uh, the development of publishing industry itself is very important, of course, not only uh, the writer's popularization, but uh, these uh, publishers are also need much more experience to work, uh, to follow these challenges, and so on. So. Uh, it was uh, we, we uh, applied to the ministry and uh, asked them that we needed some budget for for such program and we wanted to be involved in such uh, kind of program and they uh, uh, happily they uh, supported us um, and what we have done it was a, um, a very interesting uh, process because uh, Frankfurt Book Fair was very often supporting us they were coming to Georgia. They were sending the uh, professionals and uh, uh, developing and um, organizing for them uh, different seminars and so on. And we were very much involved in it because uh, for the beginning it was the situation that uh, mainly the Georgian publishers were um, buying rights, but uh, they were not so active in selling rights. Uh, so we were very much focused on them uh, to to. Explain to may make them much more experienced. Uh, now, uh, the thing is that um, uh, on this um, stage, which we will have at the nation of Saint of Georgia, and this stage is called Publishing Characters, uh, we will uh, show what we have done together with German publishers. So on the stage, we will have mainly German and Georgian um, publishers and their joint authors. Uh, so it is, um, it was uh, our idea to show the results. Uh, of this negotiation during these years, uh, how this uh, Georgian market, uh, Georgian publishers worked uh, on the um, uh, popularization of the uh, author and how it worked in Germany and so on. And uh, um, uh, from the experience of the book fair, the management of the book fair uh, uh, also told us in the beginning that the bad, bad experiences of the guest of honor presentations was that. Uh, some of the countries uh, have forgotten about the publishers, and we don't. We shouldn't forget about them. That they are the most important characters of the presentation because be, without publishers, nothing will be done, uh, and uh, there are no writers without publishers. So uh, we wanted to um, uh, become this celebration of uh, guest of honor for Georgia. Uh, uh, equally for publishers and for writers as well. So I do hope that uh, we will have this result and uh, uh, I do hope that uh, we will see how it works in Frankfurt. Uh, but in the program also, uh, uh, I will add, uh, we are very much focused of, uh, to um, organize this uh, business uh, breakfast and lunches because um, it is like uh, we are inviting uh, um, from different countries uh, um, publishers. Uh, we are focused on one day, main, maybe we are focused on German publishers. On other days, we are focused on uh, publishers from different countries, from guest of honor countries, and so on. And we are bringing these publishers and helping them in networking and so on. So plenty of things um, uh, we can uh, speak uh, 
for a long time about it, but I think maybe if there are some other questions, we will now follow that question as well. Great, thank you. Uh, given that French was the third most translated language um, in 2016 and increasing, do you see much of um, French titles, uh, finished products titles, in bookstores and libraries in Georgia? Is that um, is that uh, somewhat common, or is that uh, an yeah. area to grow? Uh, so, yeah, it's third language uh, in Georgia, the French language, and um, we have also French Institute um, in Georgia, which is quite a strong organization, and uh, they are um, supporting Georgian publishers as well uh, to translate um, French literature into Georgian, so we can, um, Georgian publishers can apply here and uh, receive uh, grants for translation, so it helps as well, of course, and it's very important. Uh, and I think that, yeah, we have plenty of uh, French literature translated into uh, Georgian, but I can't say that many books in French language, in the original, I mean, is in the bookstore, because mainly, um, as you have heard from my presentation, the percentage of uh, sold books in foreign languages is not uh, too high in Georgia yet. Many people prefer to uh, read uh, in um, Georgian, or sometimes they uh, purchase the books from Amazon into in English language, it's uh, main ways, but, but yeah, uh, we have uh, a lot of, I think, uh, a lot of French uh, writers um, translated uh, into Georgian language. That's great. Thanks. So if there are any other questions you'd like to add, you can go ahead and type it into the Q&A box. We'll give it a, f a few more uh, moments. And if you have a question after the event, we can, you can send it to me and we can um, forward it on. As now we've come to the end of the webinar, I'd like to thank you, Gavansa, for such a comprehensive view of the Georgian publishing market. I'd also like to thank the Canada Book Fund component of the Government of Canada for the financial support for this event. And to stay thank connected you so with much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. To stay connected with Livre Canada Books, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Thanks for listening. <laughs>